you don't know anything about boat. Hey guys, so I was gonna do a quick video today different. showing you my intro cinder. I thought I'd do a quick video on that. I use a different so one for my for the top of the platform. But really All right guys, so today was the first day of deer season here in Georgia. We didn't see any deer this morning. We did find some real good sign. We're pretty sure we're on the right track. We just didn't see anything, but I'll, we learned a lot. I learned that my boy, who's hunting with me this season, we, we, we did a video the other day where we modified a game winner hang on stand for him. I put a shooting rail on it so that he had a shooting rail to be able to shoot the crossbow with. We found out uh, he does. He cannot carry that 29 pound uh, stand. It was 29 pounds without the shooting rail and the aftermarket backpack straps and stuff I added to it. But we found out he can't carry that as far in as we go. I was hunting probably about a mile, right at a mile back today. We wasn't really far, but he can't carry that that far. I ended up carrying it most of the way. And uh, he just ended up carrying his backpack and his crossbow. So that led us down another path. Today I told told my buddy, I said, I can't keep carrying all his stuff and all my stuff. I said, we got to find a way for him to hunt. But he needs something to prop on to shoot that crossbow because the crossbow is pretty heavy. So this is what we came up with. I went and got this just a little bit ago. It is a big game Captain XL hang on stand. It weighs 17 pounds, so we dropped 12 pounds just by switching stands. And it's basically all the same measurements. The only difference is this one, the big game, or the game winner had a, a back on it. This one don't, it's just the, the platform part for the seat, but it folds up and all that. It's pretty straightforward on how to put it together. It just took a couple minutes. But, so instead of trying to figure out how to add a shooting rail to this, this is what we did. It, it comes with the, the foot rest that moves back and forth. So what I did was I took an old, it's, this is the side handle that you, you put your hands on off of uh, my big game uh, ladder stab. I took them off and I bolted it right there on the bottom. So what he can do is he can prop his foot up on this and then basically shoot off his knee. That gets his leg up high enough to where he can, he can shoot off his knee so he can he can hunt out of this this stand here now and still shoot the crossbow. He'll just he'll just be shooting off of his knee instead of off of an actual shooting rail. But that's what we came up with to, to keep him out in the woods. And he carried this around the yard today. Like I said it only weighs 17 pounds. And he says he likes it pretty good. It, it seems a whole lot lighter. He thinks he's gonna be able to carry it no problem. The one thing I didn't like about this, the strap that comes with it is like those the tree tether straps that they give you, the cinch straps that they give you for like a tree tether, it's made exactly like that. It just has the loops on each end to go around these, I guess they're like almost like verse buttons, but the, the, the mountain attachment right here, it's got loops just like the hawk straps do on the end, it goes around that, but then you've got to feed that strap through itself and do, do all that. It just seems like a pain. I had these extra hawk straps in my toolbox in the garage from where I done the rope model my hawk uh, helium uh, climbing sticks and so I just decided to use one of those because it's a whole lot easier to work with than that and it's I mean it's pretty it's pretty sturdy seems like it's gonna be good I'm gonna have him get out here later and shoot off of it but he got out here and held the crossbow up on his knee and propped off his practice uh, propping up on his knee and stuff we just didn't shoot him because he's got a friend over right now but I think that's how that's how we're gonna go from here on out until it either works or it don't. I mean, I feel like he'll be able to use this one a lot better. It's a lot lighter. And if I do have to carry it, I'd rather carry 17 pounds that far all the way out in through there as opposed to 29. But, and we're just sharing sticks. Like I put my sticks on the tree and, and get him up as high as I want. And then when I climb down, I just take my sticks back with me and I take my sticks and I'm, I'm saddle hunting. So I just use, I take the sticks with me and go up my tree and and we're good so he's just up there in his stand hanging out but we're gonna go back in the morning i just left the uh 
I left the game winner in the woods where we were hunting this morning because I, I thought I'm not dragging that thing all the way back out there again. That, that was before I went and bought this one. So tomorrow when I come out, I'm gonna bring the game winner out with me and bring it on home. And uh, hopefully nobody steals it before tomorrow. It's not as high as I would like it, but it's for a kid. I should have put a note on it. So this is for a 12 year old kid, please do not steal. Because people are bad about swiping stands out there and cameras and everything else. So hopefully it'll still be there in the morning. I hadn't seen any. There's not a lot of people sign out there where we're at right now anyway. So we'll see. But we'll get back with you next weekend. He's going to get to actually try this out hunting in the woods. We'll see. Maybe a follow-up video on that. Maybe we can show where he killed something. All right, guys. I'll catch you in the next one. Thanks.